the problem we're typically facing, let's take the Western Cape, because we're talking independence of the Western Cape. So the problems the Western Cape is facing, let's take policing. Policing is being run as a national mandate. So the local government in the Western Cape has got no powers over policing. Uh, they have to follow the rules that's being laid down. Um, if we think back about the cigarette saga, where the Western Cape government decided we can smoke, the national government said, no, you can't smoke. So the, the real powers we have in the Western Cape of really for non-important things. The more important things like the economy, like the contributions we make uh, to the economy. For instance, I will, I will highlight that one year of 2017 where the Western Cape contributed 632 billion rand to the national GDP. And we received 8% in return, which was 50 billion. And we sit with a local provincial budget of 72 billion. So it's much better for the Western Cape to govern itself because there's no funding being sent out. All those the, the, uh, revenue that's generated will be kept in-house or, or local or domestic. So that is why the Western Cape will fare much better as an independent country than sitting under a governance which is not really in the interest of the minorities or the indigenous people of the Western Cape. We need your support to make this a reality for everyone. So register your support for Western Cape independence at www.capeexit.org.